I like to welcome you, your audience of Supreme Master Television and your Supreme Master for giving us this opportunity to discuss and explain Jain philosophy and Jain diet. Hello kind-hearted viewers. Thank you for joining us on Vegetarianism, the Noble Way of Living. We are here at the Joint Center of Northern California to continue the series of Carmelesque Cuisines of Jainism. As you might remember from last time, we met a few gracious members like Mr. Giri Shah and Mr. Praveen Turakia, the Joint Center's former presidents. Namaste, the gracious viewers of Supreme Master Television. I welcome you to this cooking show, Vegetarianism, the Noble Way of Living. I welcome you on behalf of Jain Center of Northern California with Jai Jinendra. Jai Jinendra means salute to the victors of karma. We are happy that Supreme Master Television has selected Jain Center of Northern California for this cooking demonstration of Jain way of cooking. I welcome our co-host and our volunteer chef, Praveen Bhai Turakia. Thank you. Praveen Bhai has been a long time volunteer of Jain Center, being his ex-president, being a member of the board. He is professionally an architect. Uh, Business-wise, he's a travel agent. And of course, he really loves to cook. Today, we're back in the kitchen with Mr. Praveen Turakia to learn a couple of unique dishes that abide by the giant tradition of Carmeless cooking. We learned previously that one of the aspects of this tradition is not using root vegetables in cooking. Jain believe proper and vegetarian diet which avoids certain root plants such as onions, garlic, etc not only help control negative emotions, but it's also good for mental health. Praveen shows us alternative ingredients to enhance and make foods flavorful. There are so many ways, like uh, this is all spices. Each one has a different flavor, different things. But the main ingredient is, uh, we call it hing, asafetida. And that goes in most of the Indian uh, main dishes. It has a pungent flavor at the same time. Let me try it, that. Mm. Look at this thing. Oh, it's very strong. Yeah, very strong. Yeah. So that's why we use very little. Normally for one, two person, we just say, normally we just say, we use the term, we put the pinch of uh, hing. So this brings a lot of flavor. This will be the basic ingredient for most of the cookery. It's an ancient one and it has been used for ages uh, in India. I see. And I think nowadays used by so many other countries also. Okay, let's start. Wonderful. Okay, the basic ingredient we need is uh, this is a tur dal or we also call uh, aram dal, which is a basic uh, pigeon, split pigeon uh, peas. Dal is like a basically all the lentils we call dal. Okay. And the other main ingredient is uh, pasta. pasta. So basically it's a fusion. Pasta Italian, this is a Indian mm -hmm. and trying to mix together and have a wonderful taste for both. Indo-Italian you can say. Aha. <laughs> so this is basically bow tie pasta but you can use uh, any pasta of your choice if you want to. Sure. So. Now we just name the spices. This is the uh, whole black peppers. This is a uh, whole peanut, raw peanuts. This is whole uh, coriander seeds. This is a uh, methi, which, uh, which is a uh, uh, fenugreek seeds. We can use that and that, that has a bitterness taste, but uh, that brings uh, good flavor with mm -hmm. everything together. And uh, this is a whole clove, just we use only one or two. Okay. And other spices is like uh, for tempering, it's a mustard seed and uh, cumin seeds. This is cumin seed, 
This is the whole dried chilies. We use uh, two, three, or depending how you like. I use more, but I can't have <laughs> use less. <laughs> this is the uh, red chili powder. This is, of course, mild version, but you can get very hot version also. Mm -hmm. Mild, you can make it hot by putting more. This is a coriander and cumin powder. This is coriander seed and this is cumin seed. So this is mixed, it's uh, roasted, mm -hmm. and then uh, made it into that powder form. This is a garam masala, which is basically all the spices. Still, if you use the fresh, it's good, but if not, this substitutes for everything. It's garam masala. This is a turmeric powder. We call it haldi. This has a many, many good uh, uh, qualities also. I mean, in India, we used to uh, use this as antiseptic things. If you get a cut or something, like you're bleeding somewhere, uh -huh. if you put this, and within no time, it's all uh, healed, basically. At the end, we put some mint and... Uh, Finally, garnish with uh, cilantro. And uh, also we put a little bit of sugar in that. Uh, green chilies. Mm -hmm. Cut tomatoes. And this is uh, ch cherry tomatoes for garnishing. For garnishing. Right. Mm -hmm. So, shall we start? Sure. Okay. Show us how you convert a Western dish into the Janeway. Okay, we can first start to uh, take a pan. Let's say it's a one uh, cup of uh, this uh, lentil. So we need about uh, three cups of uh, water. While it is boiling, we can start uh, our pasta also. You need more water, much more than the pasta itself. And then we put uh, pasta in let, let it boil boiling. first, mm -hmm. right? And then you put the pasta in there. So once after the water is boiled, we put little salt if you want, little oily, olive oils, and we put uh, basically pasta of your choice. Mm -hmm. Once uh, you put it in boiling water, just take it out in 10 minutes and uh, drain the hot water. Put some uh, cold water so it stops boiling process. And so this is our boiled pastas. So while this thing is done, this uh, dal cooking takes a little longer. Now it's about 10 minutes, 15 minutes, so must have been done. Let's check it out. Sure. Oh, it's done. See, it's boiling. So it's cooked basically all the lentils. Then we blend it so it becomes liquefied. So this is done. If it's a little thicker, we can add some more water to make it to the right con consistencies. Now, while it is boiling, we are doing uh, tempering. This is olive oil. You can use uh, peanut, you can use uh, canola, you can use uh, any vegetable oils of your choice. So we take about uh, three to four tablespoons. So once it starts little uh, heat up, then uh, we add one by one all the ingredients. Okay, now <laughs> see the smoke started coming. That means now it's almost done. So we add to that. Very nice fragrance. Right. This is a mustard seed. So one. One spoon. Then we add one. One teaspoon. Of cubing. Uh, some dried chilies. Okay. Few seeds of this coriander. Mm -hmm. One or two cloves, fenugreek seeds, methi seeds, little bit, peanuts. peanuts. Mm. 
some green chilies. You want to use this type? Yeah, you can use both. And this is a curry leaves, so... Mm -hmm. The last one. And now the final ingredient, our all-time favorite <laughs> hen. I like more, so I use more. It gives good flavor. I see. Then we add uh, our boiled lentil mixture mm -hmm. to this. Okay, so it's a... Uh, Boiling, good. We'll just add the pasta. So pasta also will pick up some flavor. We put some tomatoes. We put some cherry tomatoes also at the same time. So now the final things is we add all the different spices we are talking about. This is a turmeric powder, just a half a teaspoon. This is a uh, red chili powder, so I think uh, this should be fine. Okay, we can always add later if you want. This is a uh, cumin seed and coriander seed powder. That has a different distinct flavor. We can add uh, one and a half, two tablespoon. This is garam masala. This will be a half a teaspoon. Okay. And to this we add uh, raisin. California raisin. California, <laughs> that's good. We add some uh, cinnamon sticks. Actually, would have been better if it was uh, while frying, but that's fine. It will still give the flavor. Mm -hmm. I think we need some more water because it's soaking. Mm -hmm. We add the two teaspoon, I mean sugar. Sugar, you know, it, which brings all the flavors out when it combines together. We just need to add salt. It's not here. So, okay. to your test, some people take more, some people take less. Just give five more minutes, so basically pasta will soak up all this uh, lentil uh, curry and everything. And uh, we serve with our, we have to do one more sweet dish. We have a dessert coming up soon, yes. huh? Sure. Without dessert, nothing is good. And we add some cilantro for flavor and some mint leaves. While it's boiling, it uh, picks up more flavor. I see. So we are done. Wow, beautiful. All she these colors. <laughs> it's very fragrant. Can't wait to taste it. So we'll put it to our uh, serving tray. So this is a meal by itself. Yes, it has everything. It has carbohydrate, it has uh, protein, it has uh, some vegetables, so vitamins. And 
you can put some lemon juice we can add while cooking but you can always add at the end it's okay too yeah that's better that way in fact it's oh because so when you add earlier it uh, stops uh, cooking process sometimes mm -hmm. so at the end it's better always Put some mint leaves, some cilantro, and if you like, uh, right. this is a uh, bell pepper, red. And even this thing, sometimes we put it, pomegranate seeds. Mm -hmm. It's a very good decoration. Right. Mm. And we have a. Uh, Cucumber flowers. You made that? Yes. How does it look? Are you going to show me how to do that? Oh, later? you want to see? Yes, <laughs> sure. That would be interesting. Wow. And even uh, if you want to add uh, this uh, sweet peas, that's also a good idea. This is our final products. How does it look? Beautiful. This is artwork to me. It so is, colorful. Yeah, it has everything. It has color at the same time it has the taste. You have to taste for it and see how it looks. Sure. I ask all of you to enjoy. Audience, you can join us later on to enjoy this. Thank you. We'll be back tomorrow in the Giant Center's kitchen to have a taste of this colorful Indo-Italian fusion dish. Mr. Pravin Turakia will also show us how to make a sweet orange pineapple delight. And now, please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for Between Master and Disciples. May the bountiful cuisines of our world enliven taste buds and bring harmony across cultures. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash VEG 2022.